brokenness. Heal the hurts. Heal the diseases, oh God. Whether it be diabetes, high blood pressure, oh God, whatever the condition may be, God, we know that you're able to answer. Lord God, go in and do the work that only you can do. And Lord God, we come before you to say thank you again for all that you're going to do, God. And we exalt you right now, God. And now, God, we say thank you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now that we've gone before the throne of grace, let us go in expectancy to the word of God that's going to seal our prayer. Amen. It is found in Psalms 96, 1 through 3. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the brethren, his wonders among all people. Amen, amen. We're going to turn it over to our praise team under the direction of Elder Philip Bussey. Amen. How many of you know you got the victory? Hallelujah. I want you to get up on your feet and we're going to sing the God's chorus. Hallelujah. We got the victory. How many of you know you are victorious? Woo. Hallelujah to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah to God. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you very alive. You have won the victory. Yes, you has already done. Hallelujah, my Lord. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. No way, no how. He couldn't do it. You are the risen king. Somebody out of the way your hand and said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you're seated in majesty, looking out for me and you. You are the risen king. We do an anthem. You and laugh. Hallelujah. We try. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it, yeah. We have won the victory. We won the victory. Come on, y'all. What's the highest praise? Sing hallelujah.
Good Barry. We scream it loud all over the world. We sing it. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I see you. I see you standing in your living room. I see you standing in the car wash with me. feet and help me say hallelujah I see you you may be sick in your body but by the power of God we pray that it's transferred through the airways Woo! that the spirit of God that's in this sanctuary will travel through the airways meet you right at your need in your home good God you have the victory you have it Woo! for me come on say death could hold it sickness you are the risen king. You are the risen king. See it in man. See it in majesty. He is the risen king. You are the risen king. Now get up on your feet. You very alive. Stand up where you are. I don't care where you are right now. Everybody, let's do it together. Open your mouth and worship him. You may come make it to church this morning, but the Spirit of God, I see it now, going through the hours. Open your mouth and worship Him. Open your mouth and worship Him. Let's do it together as a corporate. All over this hours, this is the time. Everybody, I see you in your homes. We're doing it. We lift in our hands. We surrender to God. We say thank you in this sanctuary. Come on, lift your hand. 30 more seconds. Open your mouth and tell Him thank you. Hallelujah. King. Amen. He got up just for you and I. And we just thank God for being back in the presence of the Lord. Come on, let's thank God for the praise team. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. Even when I don't feel like it, it's hallelujah anyhow. Amen. Whatever you might be dealing with in spite of what you're go what's going on in your life, just know hallelujah. I give you a praise, Lord. I give you a high praise. And sometimes he will let you go to a low place. So you could give him a high praise. Tell your neighbor, say, I've been in a low place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Went to a low place. So I could learn how to give him a high praise. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. And we just thank God. We honor the Lord for being back in his presence. Amen. We thank God for our bishop and our first lady. Amen. All our pastors, our elders, our ministers. Amen. The entire Woodbury Miracle Fellowship Center Church. Amen. Even our friends. I want you to know this morning that a church alive is worth a drive. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. We appreciate him. Amen. I want to say amen that September is our prayer month. Amen. September is prayer month. Amen. 30 minutes every day. We thank God for that. <clears throat> also, Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. In the Lucia Wood Fellowship Hall, and our fast day is on Tuesday, amen, from 12 o'clock midnight to 5 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, amen. Thank God, amen. We appreciate God for all of you, amen. God bless you. Amen. God is truly a good God, and I, I tell you, he's worthy to be praised, worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor. He truly has won the victory. <laughs> it's already done. Death could not hold him down. You ask me where he is at now. He's seated in majesty. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. It's offering time. <laughs> Give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down and shaken together. And running over with good measure shall men give unto your bosom. It is the liberal soul that shall be made fat. Malachi 3 and 8 say, will a man rob God? But you say, wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offering? Bring ye all the tithes to the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house and prove me here will say the Lord of hosts if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you would not have room enough to receive it and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake and all nations shall call you blessed we're going to ask our deacons if they would come feel like praising him this morning. Yes. Every praise. Every praise. Amen. God is so good. Worthy of all of the praise. Worthy of all of the glory. Sow that seed, God is going to bless your life. I like to say that there are ways that you can give within this ministry. You can give through our bank to bank online banking. You can also give by clicking on the app that leads you directly to our bank account. And uh, you can sow your seed into the ministry from that directly from that uh, website. Also, you can mail that offering in at P.O. Box 511, Woodbury, Georgia. And we'll be so grateful and so thankful that you chose to sow in this ministry. Bow your heads with me, kind Heavenly Father. We thank you right now for this offering. We thank you right now, Lord, asking and praying that you touch. Oh, God, we ask and pray that you bless those that are giving, those that are sowing, Lord. You said it would be the liberal souls that shall be made fat. Now we give you the praise. We give you the glory because we're expecting a harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to ask uh, that the choir will come up along with Sister Letha Rivers. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to ask Elder Bussey to come and tell you it's not about us. How many of you know it's not about us? It's about Jesus. Amen.
If you know it's not about us, come on, put your hands together, everybody. Come on, put your hands up, put it again. Hey, hey, woo! We serve a great God. Hey, it's not about us. It's about Jesus. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. It's not about you. Come on. It's about Jesus. Do the verse. Say, I present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Jesus, say it again, it's not about us, it's about Jesus, not about you.
everybody. Woo! Not about us, but it is about him. Everybody stand here. For you that are in the rid of your land and all over. So glad to have you to be with us today. It's time. If you have missed it and you was in there washing dishes, we, I just want to tell you, just stop for a minute here. And let's just hear what God has to say to us. But God has given this young man a word that he know how to speak it in the time of season. But I believe that this man of God got a passion to preach the word of God. You don't have to be the same way you are. If you're not saved, you can be saved today. If you don't have a prayer, you'll sure have it today. After the man of God get through preaching the word of God, for man cannot live by bread alone. You got to have the word. You got to have the word of God. You got to hear. The Bible said, how can you hear without a preacher? Put your hands together. Let's see our pastor today, Bishop Thomas Daniels. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap if you will. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated, God. It's good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I'd like to, amen, make mention that today is, uh, it's September the 11th. And uh, we realized that uh, the uh, Twin Towers was, uh, this is the anniversary of the Twin Towers being attacked. And we want to celebrate that moment. Not only that, but uh, Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth has passed. And they're celebrating her life and legacy. Amen. For over 70 years, over 70 years of service to England. She was a queen. Somebody told me this morning she was 21 when she became queen. And 70 years of her life she dedicated. She, uh, I was told, I heard that she made every president of the United States had when she was in office except one. So she met people all over the world. All the TV stations are talking about the things that she did. Amen. I want everybody to stand up for a moment and just let's celebrate 9 and 11, how we survived, and let's celebrate Queen and celebrate Elizabeth and how she lived her life on, on us being a servant. Moment of silence. Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Also, I would like to make mention that in 19, in 2023, amen, we do want to kind of get back to doing some more things that we have not been doing lately. Amen. We've gone a year, a little over a year, amen, going with the one hour. We want to continue at the same time. We want to add some new things, especially with the youth department. We want to get the youth choir up at least on four Sunday for one song. We want to get the youth choir, the babies. We got to get our babies in. We see a lot of adults in the service, but where are the young people? We got to get the young people back in church. Amen. They living in an evil day. Times are tough. We got to get them in church. We got to get them, amen, in, in, in service and worship. So we want to work on that youth department, the youth choir. Amen. Even if we have to open up on a certain, uh, like they used to open up on third Sunday, amen, we, we're willing to open up the fellowship hall. We have, we've have closed the fellowship hall down except on Tuesdays, but amen, we'll open that back up. Amen. For our, also the men, we got to grab our men and bring our men, amen, back. Amen. amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. God is good. There is work to do. Amen. We're not through working. Amen. We want to get back to doing some things, and we're going to meet with the whole church. We want to get everybody involved. Amen. We're going to ask questions. Now, America is not a, a, a monarch. America is a democracy. So in a democracy, everybody have a right, amen, to say how they feel. I may not go along with all your feelings, but you do have a right 
just say how we feel, amen? So we want to find out from the members and the people, amen, how, how things that we can do, things that we're willing to do, and we'll move forward in that direction, amen? It doesn't make no difference who give the right answer. Just bring it, and we'll get it, and then we'll celebrate you for bringing it. That all right? Ain't nobody saying nothing, but God is still good. He is a good God. Can I get a witness? Let's move on into the word of God on today. Amen. You'll find us, amen, in the book of Matthew. In the book of Matthew. Good to see so many of you out on today. In the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter of the book of Matthew, looking at that 16th through 20th verses. Matthew's the 28th chapter, looking at that 16th through the 20th verses. And it reads, Then the eleven disciples went away unto Galilee, unto the mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Uh, when they saw him, they worshipped. These are the 11, 11, I believe. They went up in the mountain. Jesus told me, meet them. I'm getting ready to leave you. And he met them there. And they had walked with him and saw the miracles that he had done. We did not have that privilege, but they had the privilege to see him open blind eyes. And at 70 verse, and when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Amen. You can walk with him and still doubt. You can, he can heal you and you still doubt. 18th verse. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Then he commissioned them, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. I want to use our text today from that 20th verse. I am with you always. I am with you always. Father, as we honor your word on today, we pray that you would anoint these lips of clay. Somebody need a miracle, Lord. Somebody need a touch in the body. Somebody need healing. Somebody's frustrated, depressed, oppressed, and just in a bad situation. But God, we pray that your word today can lift that burden, can lift that load. In the name of Jesus, hide us behind your glory that the people may see you and not us. And God, we'll be so careful to thank you in advance. We'll be so careful to give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 20th verse, I am with you always. I'm getting ready to go. As a matter of fact, this is after his death. He has come back from the grave. And now he's getting ready to exit. Amen. He's getting ready to, to, to go back the father but he's letting his disciples know now it was 11 or 12 but now we are disciples of Christ today we are his followers and what he was telling them is the same thing to us no matter what you go through no matter what you have to deal with I will always I will always be with you. Sometimes we feel like we're all alone. Sometimes we feel uh, when we don't get what we desire, we feel 
mistreated. Sometimes we feel like God has forsaken us, but Jesus is telling his disciples, we are his disciples, that, amen, I will always be with you. Last Sunday we dealt with Paul, and, and Paul was told, amen, amen, my grace was sufficient. Even though I'm not going to move what Satan is doing to you, but my grace was sufficient. That in my, 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 my strength is made uh, perfect in your weakness. Then Paul began to glory in the fact that when I am weak, then am I strong. We have to understand, amen, that sometimes you're going to go through some stuff. As a matter of fact, all of the disciples were killed. All of the disciples, amen, they were hunted down and they died. But yet the commission was to go ye. And our commission is to let somebody else know that Jesus is still on the throne. Amen. And, and, and in that, amen, that 18th verse, and Jesus said unto them, he spoke unto them saying, all power. See, after you've suffered a while, you get most strength. I've learned that through the things that I've gone through. After you go through some stuff, if you haven't gone through anything, then you really don't know how to talk about anything. But oh, when you're going through some stuff and didn't think you were going to come out. Amen. The, 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 the Hebrew boys throw it in the, in, 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 in the uh, fiery furnace. But when they came out, they came out and, and their clothes weren't even skinned with the, with the heart out fire. Can I get a witness? When you're going through something, you can tell somebody else that God will deliver you. If he doesn't do it, he's able to do it. If he don't make a way, he's still able to make a, a way. He said, all power, all power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. In heaven, that, that's a powerful statement. When he rose, he rose with all power. As a matter of fact, Jesus was in heaven when Lucifer was there. And he acted up, so uh, Jesus kicked him out of heaven. Lucifer came down here and messed with Adam and Eve and messed them up. Now we all are messed up. All of a sudden, Jesus came down, bone number one came down and defeated death, defeated hell, and defeated the grave. Why? Because he knew before he went back to the Father that the Father would do him like Charles, uh, the queen would turn the whole kingdom over. Charles waited, Prince Charles waited 70 some years. Somebody said that he never had a job. King Charles, 70 some years old, never had a job until the queen died. And when the queen died, he took over England. He became not Prince Charles. But he became King Charles number three. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? So Jesus tells his disciples, all power, my father has turned all power over to me. Monarch, England is a monarch. That means that one rule, one family rules, and it's already their secessions plan that, that will go all the way down to the grandchildren, their children, and their children, one family rule. Well, in the kingdom of God, it's, it's, it's a monarch. It's a monarch. You don't have to vote who the king is. It, it, it's already established. The Bible says he's king 
our kings. He's Lord of the Lord. He is the beginning. And he is uh, the end. And Jesus telling his disciples, amen, God has given me all power in heaven. I'm going back to the Father, but I still got power in the earth and realm. Can I get a witness? I'm leaving you because the comforter cannot come. The Holy Spirit cannot come except I go away. But yet I am at the right hand of the Father. So you got all three of us working for you. You got the Holy Ghost in you. You got me working as, as, as a high priest. And you got God who will give you everything you ask in my name. The only way you can get what you need, you got to come through my name, Mark, 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 Mark 10. Looking at Mark 10th chapter, looking at that 28th verse. Mark 10 and 28. Then, amen, Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house when you serve God, there are some things you got to get away from. Uh, this is a little tight here in the message. When you love God, you can't hang out with the folk you used to hang out with. When you love God, you got to get rid of some people in your life. When you love God, you got to get rid of the black books, the white books, and any books that can get you in trouble. And Jesus, and Peter and him is saying, we done left everything. We done left it all. Jesus said, there's no man that has left house of brotherings or sisters or fathers or mothers or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospel. But he that shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. In other words, everything you lose, I'm going to give it back to you. I'll, I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. And in order for you to get back to the Father, if you use my name, you can have whatsoever you desire. All you got to do is use the name of Jesus. You can have whatever you desire. He said, in, in, in sisters and mothers and children and lands, and it comes, this, this is what we got to get here today. It comes with what? Persecution. It comes with a beat down. It comes with tears. It comes with hurting. It comes with pain. Everybody who has been born again have gone through some stuff that you didn't think you were going to come out. But when you came out, you realized that God is still with me. He, he's still on my side. He, he's still guiding me. He's still protecting me because he's already said no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. God has already said I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you always even to the ends of the, of the earth. God is always. He never left us alone. He sent his son to handle his business here on earth. He sent his son to establish his kingdom here on earth. And his son is coming back one day to take us away. But it comes with persecution. If you are not being persecuted, there's something you're doing wrong. If you're not being lied on, there's something you're doing wrong. If you're not being talked about, there's something. Because, because uh, the world of his own. People ain't going to hang around with you that do dirt if you ain't doing some dirt yourself. Sometimes when I go uh, to our family, we used to have a Thanksgiving dinner every year. And then all of a sudden, amen, my cousins used to say, now, now Thomas, it's about time for you to leave. What they're telling me, you got about 10 minutes to get out of here. Because we're going to bring out some bars you don't want to see. You're going to bring out some stuff you don't want to see in. And I start packing my stuff because <laughs> I don't want to see it. I, I love them. They love me. But I cannot hang with them. And it's going to come with persecutions. 
thought when we got saved, amen, that he's going to take everything. No, 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 no. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And we don't have the same cross, but we're going to go through some stuff. And Jesus letting them know it comes with persecution. But in the world to come, eternal life, I have made my choice. I have chosen to, to, to suffer the, the afflictions for seasons and gain eternal life for eternity. So I'm not going to lie back on the liar. I'm not going to cheat somebody because they cheated me. But I'm going to treat you like I would have you to treat me. And if I offend you in any way, I'll come back to you and ask you to forgive me because I want that wiped off my record. Because I can't go in with stuff on my record because everything is being written down on my record. Somebody said, well, 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 how can Jesus do all of this? Uh, Isaiah 32 and 1. Isaiah. Isaiah. Just about through. Isaiah 32 and 1. He said, Behold, the king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. Old folk used to say, he's a rock in a weary lane. Say, and he shall be like a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest and a river of water in dry places when you don't have nothing, he'll show up. As a shadow of a great rock in a weary. And where they get these songs from. Is a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Yeah, in the third verse, and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. So I begin to look at how bad Jesus must be, how, how powerful he is, because all power has been given unto him. So, so uh, I, I took out an old book that I received and studied sometime, and he said he's Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. He, 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 he's the bread of life. Because the psalmist said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He's the son of God. In other words, God was made flesh. And, and it's no longer their individual, but it's still uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Not only that, he's the chief cornerstone. He was the one that the builders rejected. He was the one that said, you ain't the Son of God. As a matter of fact, they killed him, but he rose on the third day with all power in in in. His hand, he, he, he said, uh, I, I'm, I'm Emmanuel, that means God is with me. Mind if I could, if I could go back and get a song right about now, I'm, he's more than enough. He's Jarrah, he, he's more, he's everything I need, he's, he's more. Not enough. He's the king of kings. Charles ain't going to last but too long. But after Charles dies, he'll still be king. Of king. He's the lamb of God that was set up from the foundation of the world. Before man got here, he was the lamb of God ready to give his life for the sins of humanity. He was the light of the world in him is life. That life is the light of men and the light shine in darkness. We were in a dark world, but he pulled us out. We saw the light, and we came out of darkness into new life. 
Can I get a witness? He's the rock of ages. He's the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. He's the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. The truth make you free. David put it this way. David put it this way. See, I got some enemies around me, but he'll prepare. I got some folks who don't like me, but he'll prepare a table before me in the presence. He'll let your enemies see you eating while they're trying to kill you. You'll be eating while they're trying to put you down. You'll, you'll, you'll be eating while they're lying on you. You ain't got to worry about what man do to you. Jesus has all power. In his hand, there's not a boat. You can't take a boat about this. There's not a group of people that said it didn't happen. I believe. I believe in the word of God. I stand on the word of God. In him I live. In him I move. In him I have my being. I've never seen him. But one day I will. I've never been to heaven. But one day, I will. I don't have everything I desire, but he's given me everything I need. He's never left me alone. My daddy walked out, but he never, he never, he never, he never left me. Alone, he's been a bridge over troubled waters. He's been a doctor and he's been a lawyer. How did I make it this far? I didn't make it on my own. How did I get this far? I didn't get this far by my own. Somebody had to guide me. Somebody had to help me when I was down and out. He told his disciples, say, I'm going away, but I'm not going to leave you. He said, I'll always be with you. And, and so sometimes we got to get our lives out of depression. Too many church folk depressed. And I'm going to tell you why we get depressed. It's because we got everything on us. We believe in us until we can't do us no more. Because this thing is bigger than us. So when it gets bigger than you, you need somebody bigger than it. And so you need to call on Jesus. He said, but whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall, all you got to do is use that name. No matter what valley you get in, he's a lily in the valley. He's a bright in the morning star. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Nissi. He's Jehovah Shalom. He's everything. He's everything I need. You can't offer me enough money to turn me my back on him. You can't offer me enough things to make me turn around. I got family members that I love. We are a close-knit group. It's about 17 of us young people that are first cousins, and we stuck together. We help one another through school. We help one another in life. But when it comes to God, I walk by myself. <laughs> Though he slay me yet, you think I'm going to give up on what God has done for me? You think I'm going to turn my back on what God has done? He made a way. He made a way. When there was no way, he made a way. When I couldn't find the door, he opened. He opened the door. And I'm never alone. I'm never. I'm never. I'm never alone. I'm going through. I made up my mind. 
I'm going all the way. I started with Jesus. I say I started with Jesus. Friends, don't call me like they used to. I started with Jesus. And I'm, I done made up my mind. I'm, honey, you're going with me, huh? We? We going. We going through. I got to close. By, about a month ago, the van in the car was towed up. One working, the other ain't working. The other ain't working, the one I said, good God Almighty, what is this that make me feel so bad inside? But then I rented a car. I've been coming down here in 48 years. That's the first time I had to rent a car to come to church. I rented a car, and I, I rented, uh, I rented profit a, a GMC minivan. Pull up on the lot. Boy, my member didn't like that at all, seeing me in a GMC minivan. And they talked about me. I walked in the hallway, and I heard a lot of talk going on about bitches. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the way Bishop feel, if I got to crawl to get out of here. One day, I'm going to have a cloud to step up on. A mighty cloud of joy. And that cloud is going to take me out of all this. And I'm going to meet him in the meeting. And he's going to take me home. I don't know if you've seen the movie, uh, uh, The Song of Bernadette. But I watched it the other day, me and First Lady. And I couldn't stop crying. Because Bernadette was a teenage girl. She wasn't smart. She didn't know a lot of things. They called her ignorant. They called her. She was a mess. She had, she had sclerosis of the bones. and She didn't even know how sick she was. She didn't even know how messed up she was. But she went down to the, to the, uh, to the uh, junkyard. Went down to where you bury, you, you put all your junk stuff. And she saw a lady. And the lady told her, say, you won't live good in this world, but you'll live good in the next world. And she made up her mind to follow that lady's opinion. Law officers, everybody else attacked her because they felt like she was a hoax. They felt like she was trying to make money. She turned her city around because that lady told her to dig in some of that dirt in the garbage and there'd be some water. And there was a lady in town that had a baby that was dying. And they took that baby to the water and that mama threw that baby in that water and that baby came out here completely. But yet, they ran out of town. They sent her to uh, uh, what are these with the white hat, the black a nun. She became a Catholic. They sent her to a Catholic school. And all of a sudden, I got to close, all of a sudden, uh, it was a lady that, that didn't like her. She said, I can't stand you. One of the, one of the uh, Catholics said, I can't stand you because you had said that that lady was, was uh, what's that word? Uh, whatever it is. Amen. I leave that word alone. Uh, but you had said that uh, 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 she was, amen, uh, I, I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of it, but I'll, I'll leave it alone. But what she said was that the lady was Mary, but the lady was not Mary. It was just a lady that had guided her through her pain, guided her through her life, 
and told her you'll never be happy in this world, but you'll be happy in the world to come. She sent all those people to her town to get in that water, and they got healed. She went to the, she went to the home. She went to where the Catholics were, and she stayed there. She was about 20-some when she died. They saw a limping one day. And they wanted to know what was wrong with her. She did not know that she had a disease in her leg that she's not supposed to have been walking. She was doing things. She suffered her whole life. But that lady told her, in the next world, in the next world, and the, I'm not living for this world. I'm living for the next world. I told her, say, and so the priest got around, and the priest didn't even believe in her. The pre priest didn't even believe in her. They didn't believe that she had saw that lady. And I, if I could think of that word, it would really tie everything together. But in her deathbed, 20-some years old, in her deathbed, she said, the lady told me I'd be happy in the next world. And she died. She died. We think we want everything on this side. But what we got coming, what we got to look forward to is greater. Mm. Victory belongs to Jesus. That's the song I want to hear. Victory belongs to me. You may think you don't have no victory, but if you got Jesus, oh, whoa. Oh, victory. Victory belongs to Jesus. Yeah. Victory, victory belongs, belongs to Do you know that verse here? Do you know that verse? Who can stand? Who can stand? Oh, who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one. No one will. No one will. Everybody who can stand against the king. Who can stand against the king. One hand up. No one can. No one can. No one will. No one will. Real life. Victory belong. You don't have to fight your battle. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Yes. Victory belongs. So if you feel like you're all alone and nobody's with you, can't nobody stand up against your king. Can't nobody stand up. <laughs> you never, he's never lost a battle. And he never will. So you just press your way through the mess. You just press your way through the garbage. You just press your way through everything that comes your way. Because it's not over until God says it's over. It's not over. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. Folk laughing at you. It ain't over. Folk talking. It ain't over. You never give up on God because He said, I'll never leave you. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. I'll be with you. Bow your heads, Father, in the name of Jesus. They are hurting people here today, but I pray that you touch them, strengthen them, heal them, and did a say to the Lord, rebuke you right now. I take authority over you right now. I command you to take that filthy hands off of God's people. That's God's property. And I command you to loose right now and let them go. Bring that child back home. Bring that, that husband back home. Bring that wife back home. In the name of Jesus, I come against death. I come against sin. I come against sickness right now. I pray for these young people that's just killing folk for no reason at all. I pray for the sins that's going on in the street. God, we need you. America needs you. We need you as never before. Have your way, Lord. And we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap if you will.
Amen. Come on, let's stand on our feet. Amen. How many of the Lord will always be with you? When man walk out on you, when your friend is not there when you need him, you got one person you can call on. He's always there. He never sleeps nor sorrows. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just lift your hands real quickly. There's a fresh anointing in the room. Just receive what God has for you. Some of you need certain things. Some of you need God to move right now. God says he's going to do it. He's going to touch your loved ones. He's going to